man is waiting for the subway on the platform. Suddenly, a roar is heard from deep in the track. People look towards the sound. As the unknown creature slowly approaches, the gravel on the track begins to float, as if the man senses something, he prepares to flee, but it was too late, the eyes of those who saw the unknown creatures were the first to mutate, there was no commotion, people just moved forward in silence. The man was pushed to the edge of the platform by the crowd, the train whistled wildly, but people didn't understand and walked forward calmly, he could only desperately push people away, and only then did he avoid the collision at the last moment, the subway station that was crowded just now was suddenly left with only George, when he ran to the street, this place had already become a mess, he ran into the school like crazy again, he found that the teacher had died tragically on the podium, the children were all huddled in a corner in fear, George had no time to comfort everyone, after finding his daughter, he took her and ran away madly, because he didn't want his daughter to see this tragic scene, he wrapped his coat tight tightly around his daughter. Soon after, he reunited with his wife. The wife was overjoyed to see that her family was safe, but just as she was about to drive, he was hit by a car. Only a few months later, the whole city became a ghost town. There are even more corpses on the beach than fish in the sea. It turns out that this unknown creature can capture people's hearts. As long as you open your eyes and see it, you will lose your mind, then choose different ways to end their lives. Only a few people fled underground, living a dark life like cockroaches and rats. But due to lack of supplies, people gradually became cruel and bloodthirsty. They often fought over a small piece of bread and got bloody in order to survive. Some people still bravely went out to look for food, but they could only blindfold themselves and grope around like blind people. George and his daughter were also among the survivors, they stood on the street corner with their blackened glasses, looking a little overwhelmed, suddenly, a sound came from afar, it turned out that other survivors had also come out to look for supplies, they used a supermarket trolley to clear the way, a spool was installed on it, there was a long rope behind it, it turned out that they used this method to locate themselves in case they got lost after coming out, after George comforted his daughter, then he whispered hello to the other side, he said he had been hungry for several days, he hoped that the other side could give him some food, however, the fat man in the lead refused, the companions behind him urged him to go faster, it is not easy to survive in this apocalypse, they don't want to be good people, George certainly understood the law of the end of the world, but for his daughter, he quickly proposed to exchange the generator for food, George then said that he found several generators in a high-rise building, the equipment was too heavy for one person to lift, but he knew the address of the generator, several people were moved, they had lived in darkness for a long time and were eager to light a light, just when everyone was hesitating, a gust of evil wind suddenly blew behind them, 